بسم الله نضع حجر الأساس للبدي في تنفيذ مشروع النار الصناعي العظيم الذي سنفجر بعون الله ينابيعه الغزيرة من هذا المكان من قلب الصحراء من السرير ومن تزرب ومن الكفرة من سلسلة رايعة من مئات الأبار ليتدفق الماء نحو الشمال عبر أنابيب ضخمة يصل قطرها إلى أربعة أمتار خلال أطول رحلة يقطعها الماء والعذب غصبا عنه تنفيذا لأوامر الإنسان العربي الليبي السيد ووفقا لإرادته الثورية الحرة فوق أرضه ليصل إلى حيث نريد ونجبره على قطع مسافة ألاف الكيلومترات أربعة ألاف كيلومتر من السرير إلى الشمال ونجبره على الاندفاع نحو الشرق والاندفاع نحو الغرب في محاولة تشبه الخيال ليلتقي بالنهر الصناعي الآخر الذي ينبع من جبل الحساونة وإذا تحقق لقاء النهرين نكون قد أسسنا شبكة ري ضخمة ليس لها مثيل في العالم The intersection of the two rivers is the crowning chapter of the epic of construction and achievement. Not only as the greatest system of the whole wide world to convey and distribute water, but also because it's a network of arteries flowing with life, greens, and growth throughout the body of the whole country. The future of its generation depending on a drop of water. Barrel lines never intersect. It's a self-evident fact, so how can it be possible to join the two systems of east and west parts of Libya in the great man-made river project? The foundations of each system are the basins of the historic waters in the depth of the desert in the south and their mouths in the giant lake suspended at the coastal plateaus in the north. As for those who have acquired scientific knowledge and long experience through their work in the great man-made river project over about a quarter of a century, the matter was easy by the assistance of the satellite services and the topographical surveys. Alwashka was specified as the intersection point of the two branches of the river, nearly in the middle distance between Al Sadada westwards and Al Kardabia eastwards. For many considerations, the path of Al Kardabia Al Sadada choice was adopted as the best option to link the two branches of the great river. Everything seems to be possible on paper but the ground was hiding surprises of another type. The remnants of the Allies and the Axis forces battles on the Libyan soil during the Second World War and the mines which they left in the Libyan soil, the widest death fields and destruction an evidence of crime, the reason of the continuation of the tragedies of this part of the world and the cause of the most spatial development problems in Libya. There had to be well-experienced people and equipment of high accuracy to survey an area of 200 kilometers long and the width coincides with the requirements for the link of the two branches of the river. The first kilometers resulted in tens of non-exploded tank and cannon pumps and 90 multi-purpose mines with one target, which is killing without mercy. However, all these came to confirm again that the great man-made river is the biggest human work to save the land 
from the claws of death. All these required additional expenses and longer periods. Nevertheless, that resulted in protecting al Kartabiya al Sadada system back from the risks of mines. All those who are walking here, celebrated by their way, giving chance to others to share in the execution of the intersection of the two rivers. The preparation of the ground and leveling of the path of the two rivers linking channel required a fleet of machinery of different sizes and for various purposes. The opportunity is being used to, con to encourage Libyan companies, engineers and technicians to participate in the management of the work and to play a key role in the supervision of the design and construction activities. It was divided into six main projects and that doubly realized its purpose and compensated for the period spent for clearing the path from the mines on the one hand and to increase the participation of the well-experienced and specialist Libyan nationals on the other hand. The work in the two rivers linking channel was also doubled due to the fact that in order to transport the machinery smoothly and safely, it was necessary to construct a paved sour road parallel to which the excavation of the trench for laying the pipes of the two rivers linking channel was made. The excavation equipment deepened down to the depth of seven meters while the width of its bottom is six meters and upon reaching to 100 kilometers long, the excavation soil exceeded 11 million cubic meters of soil, which required additional excavation works to remove another 400,000 cubic meters of soil, which is inconsistent to the required specifications according to the mobile field tests and measurements. These tests accompanied all the excavation stages so as to provide the most suitable conditions for laying down the pre-stressed concrete cylinder pipes which have been manufactured locally. In similar way, and by the same technology, which is used as an essential element in the construction of both branches of the Great Man-Made River, this same technology exists again along the distance between Al-Kardabiya and Al-Sadada, so as the true promise for the intersection of the two rivers comes to. More than 25,000 bristles concrete cylinder pipes of 7 meters, 0.5 meters long, and diameter of 4 meters have been manufactured locally at Brega Manufacturing Plant, which is one of the two plants of the Great Man-Made River Company, for manufacturing of pipes and construction. These pipes have been laid down and tightly tied to reach in the end between the two systems of the Great Man-Made River in the east and west of Libya. And now, the new general vision of the whole river has been formed. The branch of Sarir Tazerbo to Serat Benghazi and the surrounding areas with capacity of 2 million cubic meters of water per day and its tributary Al Hasauna to Al Jafra Plateau and the west middle areas with capacity of 2 million point five cubic meters. Both tributaries intersect at Al Gardabiya from the east and Al Sadada from the west across a channel between them each of which has a high capacity pump station to convey 1 million cubic meters of water per day in any of the two directions. Al-Qurtabiya al-Sadada system is a project of complete facilities itself, supported by two pump stations with capacity of 12 and 35 mega watt respectively, and 9 and 11 pumps Low control unit, 17 pairs of surge control vessels for the first and 13 pairs 
for the second. The system also includes a holding reservoir at El Wishka area at the road between the two pump stations consisting of two cells with total capacity of 82,000 cubic meters of water. Each cell has an inlet and outlet insulation valves and a flow room to and against the direction of the flow. This holding reservoir plays a vital and important role to make the, the sufficient flexibility for the operation process and the maintenance works. For further protection for the system and to secure its smooth operation and effect performance, a flow control station has been set up at Wadi Itmala, consisting of 13 pairs of surge control vessels with two electrical generators. The power for the operation of the system required the construction of Al Sadada transformation power station with capacity of 220 kV, 66 kV, and 11 kV. The power station has been linked to the lines of the general electricity network and provided with voltage transformers. The monitoring, control, and the operation of Al Qardabiya system are carried out by the most updated communication techniques and information exchanging systems so as to enable the working engineers and technicians to closely follow up the operation of the system by the sounds and to follow up the visual signals transmitted by through the optical fibers, fiber lines, in addition to the telephone lines and a simulation system which reveals any defects that may occur during the process. The human factor in El Cartabia al Sajada system was not out of mind, considering that all the system works such as laying off pipes, excavation of the trench, etc., accompanied with construction of housing units and service and administrative buildings in order to secure comfortable accommodation and optimal work conditions, as well as various recreation facilities for those who are working at the Gartabia at Sagada system. The Al Qartabiya Al Sadada system, whose cost exceeded a half billion dinars, realized the intersection of the two tributaries of the Great Man Made River project as their unprecedented engineering plan with pumping capacity exceeding 1 million cubic meters of water to any of the two directions with capacity to increase it to 10% in extraordinary conditions. And now, through 23 feeding ports, supplies the housing gatherings at the middle region of Libya with drinkable water and for other living purposes. Water becomes avail available to herds of camels and other livestock. Farmers had to deliver the soil of the land so as to prepare for the seeding and harvest season and to collect the fruits of prosperity. The water, which was hidden in the depth of the desert, has come up to quench the thirst of the land and provides it, its people with the most essential elements of life. These enthusiastic, hard-working young men saved no effort for the project, not only because the vital 
and historical importance of the great man-made river project for all the Libyan people at the present and in future, but also the visits made by the leader Gaddafi and his close follow-up of all the achievement steps taken for this system and the whole project, as well as his attention and care for these working young men motivated them and deepened the love of their country and the values of constructive, sincere work, similar to Gaddafi's love for Libya, who constructed its parts with the prosperity and development and erupted in the desert, spring supporter, flowed out and streamed, making two great rivers, greenness and irrigation, which finally intersect with each other. That was, in a brief, the leader's love epic for Libya, a great flow, running river, and the life therein dependent on a drop of water.